Hey guys, um, this is just a continuation of the previous video about uh, generating a Word document from Excel spreadsheet. Uh, so previous video we actually did the uh, extraction of data from an Excel spreadsheet. This video should actually be uh, quicker because all we're going to be doing is setting up the Word document properly um, to be able to have the macro read and know where to actually go in the document to paste the data. So if you remember in the first video we actually created this document um, you can probably change the name of it to be more relevant um, so we're going to just go ahead open the document what we're going to do is um, eh, why not let's add a cover page let's make it actually look like a document that uh, a job or company would probably use Yeah. What the hey? So let's just use that one there. And um, yeah, let's just scroll here. What we're gonna do is just create like one fake section here. Um, and let me—I don't mean to say fake section, but we're just gonna create like a, a template section here. Um, what we're gonna do is. Create that section one, and we're going to use the lorem ipsum page just to grab random text because it it takes too long to think of an actual two dummy text uh, or paragraph phrases to put into your document just to make it look somewhat relevant to an uh, actual document when the purpose of this demonstration is not to actually show actual content but just have like filler text I should say so we're gonna go ahead and do that and right now what we're gonna do is um, at the end of that we're gonna do this little placeholder call it section table I'll get to you in a second as far as why that's important and now we're gonna enter a couple of times you're going to highlight all of this and what we're going to do right now is create a bookmark I'll tell you why in a second but let's go to insert bookmark and we're going to call this uh, copy section add the bookmark if you don't see these little brackets right now what you could do is go to file uh, where No, there is a place I forget exactly where you can actually options here we go options if you go to advanced here you should see a show bookmarks and I think for the most part they're unselected but if you select it uh, then it will actually show you where these bookmarks are and what we're going to do is uh, after this last bracket we're not going to highlight a range we're just gonna have the cursor there and we're gonna create another bookmark and we're gonna call this one the paste section as you can see it's just back to back here I'm not selecting a range but the important thing to remember here and I'm gonna show this in the third video is that when I read in the data from the Excel spreadsheet in the next video I'm gonna have the script, the same script, open up this document and actually paste the data. And if you remember, there was two pages of uh, Excel spreadsheet data. And the way to actually get the cursor to go to where I want it to go is by having these bookmarks and this uh, placeholder thing I have with uh, triple brackets. Um, because yeah, if if you want to open up a document, you know the cursor is going to be at the very top. And you know you can just probably uh, not do with these bookmarks at all. But if you actually have a you know static text, if you have a cover page, if you have uh, a couple more pages of text where it's not really worth it to, to auto generate because it's just static text, uh, then you probably would want bookmarks so then you can tell your your uh, VBA code to actually move the cursor to this section to this bookmark 
and it's going to highlight everything and then you can do whatever you want with it you can uh, replace text within this you can copy and paste this section multiple times if you're going to have multiple sections there's also code I'm going to be showing that actually shows um, that shows the, the Visual Basic script to find a particular text and the one thing I like to do is whenever I want to search and replace for something within a script I always have that searchable field be within triple brackets so this is a section table with triple brackets and this is going to be used for me to uh, replace this with the actual table of data from uh, the Excel spreadsheet so as we see here final document before I end this little demo what I'm going to do is actually update this word document location and I'm going to point it to final document dot word dot what the heck am I doing doc x there you go let me uh, go ahead and make a multi-line slap more visible there just kind of spread this out when things are too scrunched up they just don't look that good but yeah that, that's pretty much the gist of this little thing just to kind of prep up the word document to actually um, have those little place markers so the visual basic script in the next video can actually um, find it and replace it so that's that